All right, sixth grade woodwinds. This week we're gonna be working on using the key signature to know what type of note to play. Now you all hopefully remember this. This should be review for most of us, but just to make sure that everybody's caught up and everybody's in the same place to start. Um, every note comes in three different varieties. You have a natural note, which is the C that you normally play or the D or the E. That note, its full name is E natural. And if you were to have to mark that it's natural, you would write this symbol, the natural symbol. The, other, the next kind of note that we have is a sharp. Now, sharp means that it sounds higher. So if you play an F natural, a regular F, and then you play an F sharp, the F sharp will sound higher than the F natural. The third type of note is the flat note. Now, the flat note will sound lower than the natural note. So if you play a B natural and then you play a B flat, the flat note will sound lower than the natural. Now there's two different ways that a composer can tell you to write to play a note, sharp or flat. One way is to write in the accidental, to put a sharp sign right next to the note. Um, but this week we're going to be really working on when composers use the key signature to tell you what type of note to play. So let's first look at the notes that a that a composer will tell you to write to play flat by using the key signature. So let's say um, the key signature looks like this in 4-4 four, four time. Uh, this would probably be most often for clarinets or flutes. Um, right now, since there's nothing written in the key signature, you would play every note natural. So this right here is a low B natural. That's a high B natural. That's an E natural. That's a high E natural. This is a A natural, and that's a high A natural. According to this key signature, all those notes will be played natural because there's no flat signs anywhere, there's no sharp signs anywhere, and there's nothing written in the key signature. If I change one thing right over here, and I put a flat sign in the key signature, that means that all Bs are gonna be flat. Now there's two ways to remember that. One way is because there's, when there's one flat, it's B. The other way to remember is if you look at what line the note is on, um, that line tells you um, wh whatever note goes on that line, that's what's flat. So every good boy, it's on the B line. So that means that Bs are flat. So when you have a flat sign there, that transforms this into a B flat. So you play a B flat. This right here, same, same situation. It's a B, so it's B flat. This E, since the only flat sign in the key signature is a, is a B flat, that's gonna still be E natural, so is that. And then this A is still gonna be A natural, and so is the high A natural. So we only have one flat in the key signature, that means that Bs are flat. When I add a second flat to the key signature, that flat is on the E space, F, A, C, E. So when you have a flat in the E space, that means that all of your E's are gonna be flat. So we have B, B flat, B flat still because the, there's a flat sign on the B line. And then this E becomes E flat, and this E also becomes E flat. This is still A natural. And so is this. If I put a third flat in the key signature, that means that all of your B's, all of your E's, and now all of your A's are going to be flat. So you're on the B line, the E space, and F A, A flat is the third flat. That means that this is still B flat, B flat, E flat, still E flat, A flat, and then A flat. Now when we look at the sharps, they come in a different order. The flats are always going to be B, E, A. One flat is always B. Two flats always E. Three flats is always A. In sharps, the first thing that's going to be sharp is F. So when we make the F sharp, um, you write it on the very top line of the staff, and it means that all Fs, whether they're on the top line or not, are going to be sharp. So this is no longer F natural. Now it's F sharp. This right here, the high F sharp, is F sharp as well. So you're going to have two sharps in the key signature. The second sharp will be on the C space. So that means that this is F sharp, that's F sharp, this is C sharp, 
And now way up there, F, A, C, that's a high C sharp. So that's just a real quick review on key signatures, one of the two ways that composers will tell you which notes are flat and sharp. Have a great week.